people have got to understand. You gotta attack, attack, attack. <laughs> Certain individuals you don't attack, you run from. I'm talking, if I see you, and believe me, I will, I'll put you down quickly. <laughs> like, don't you know you're going against the best sniper in the game? Huh? Violence! Speed! Momentum! Whatever game that I'm playing, Make sure you're not playing that game. What Dr. Disrespect's talking about is some pain deliverance. And if you want to approach me... Whoa, baby! I'll be real serious with you. If you want to approach me, I will kill you immediately. Oh my god! These guys are nothing! These guys are nothing in the game! I'm the best! Guy, Dr. Disrespect Beam, wasn't always the two-time champ. I'm the two-time 1993-1994 blockbuster video game champion in the online gaming community. The face of Twitch, and a man with self-proclaimed venomous gaming athleticism who kind of resembles an 80s-style action star. <laughs> He was born on March 10th, 1982, and his life in video games started as, well, a joke. My gamer tag was Diarrhea Panic, and I was online with a few buddies, and they have ridiculous names as well. Guy was a varsity basketball player in university, who spent his free time dominating in Halo and other first-person shooter games. He birthed his now-heralded alter ego, Dr. Disrespect, while playing Halo 2 on Xbox with friends. Yeah, I get it. Hey, hey, hey. Aren't you the one that needs to tighten his braces up? <laughs> Idiot. Back then, game developers still believed proximity comms were a good idea. So if you were close to an enemy, you could actively taunt them as you killed them. Hey, turn around! Turn around! Too late. Mistake. And it was in Halo 2 where that gravelly 80s action star voice was born. The doc started his assault on the online gaming world by uploading short YouTube clips of him, well, disrespecting his opponents. I will literally go up the stairs, go into the house, and give you a root canal with bullets. <laughs> you ain't taking B, because B is mine. And like any top content creator, it didn't hurt that he was absolutely lethal at the games he was playing. Huh. Knock knock. Who's there? The doc. The doc who? The same doc who puts all the hours into this game. It was on January 5th, 2010, that he first started posting to YouTube in conjunction with his college roommates. I was just blessed to be around some good friends that we always had a camera around us and then, you know, we could just shoot at all times and I could just cut it up, throw it up on YouTube, boom, we got something. He'd generally post gameplay footage and perform voiceover in his doctor persona. At the same time, he changed his Halo in-game username to Dr. Disrespect. And that's where the lines between Guy Beam and the Doc began to blur. So I guess with the creation of that gamer tag came the creation of the character. Perhaps maybe the most apt thing about his moniker is the word disrespect. Because that's how he built his brand. The entire origin of his alter ego stemmed from him making plays in-game in order to best embarrass his opponent. The Doctor was about disrespect from the beginning. Oh, you're gonna fire bullets at me? Think you're gonna kill the doctor? Negative. It's freezing outside. Here, let me warm you up. Put you down and I put all three of you down. On January 11th, 2010, Dr. Disrespect began to up his content creation game by creating his own YouTube channel. What Dr. Disrespect's talking about is some pain deliverance. He was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 at the time, and built his content around, well, flaming his opponents. Now that I'm in control of the second story, it's time to dominate. Oh, you want some? How about that? Where's your sister? Oh, there she is. I hate snipers. When a sniper wants to stand back, it's a mistake. He'd also collaborate with other YouTube personalities with larger followings by calling them out and playing with them. I reached out to Mr. 360 Games, you know, said, hey, check out my video. If you don't, I'd cut you up. You know, like one of those 
type of emails. And uh, he actually viewed it, liked it, and uh, did a shout out in one of his videos. That sort of jump started my, uh, my run. Dr. D immediately started to foster attention. His antics were the intensification of the way the world looked at the male gamer stereotype of the time. And his flame first approach was pretty hilarious. <laughs> no, that's not fake. That's on my body. That's on my body. The doc started creating content for a popular gaming channel called Machinima after his first wave of popularity. And it was then when his following started to balloon for the first time. But then, almost as quickly as his YouTube success began, Dr. Disrespect disappeared. On February 22nd, 2011, his YouTube channel and the followers of his impeccable venomous video game athleticism were left without the content they were hungry for. Guy Beam put down his second life as the doctor to fulfill dreams of his own, a career in the game design industry. I didn't really know what was where I wanted to go. I just know I've always wanted to get into the to the video game industry, the interactive entertainment industry and you know, but like I had no experience. Beam joined Sledgehammer Games on March 16th, 2011, the game development company responsible for multiple Call of Duty titles as its community manager. I mean, the only thing that really made sense to me possibly become a community manager. But even in this new path in his life, it was the doctor that built his name in the gaming community to bolster his application at Sledgehammer. With my experiences that I've that I've gained in, in the creation of the Doctor character from a social media perspective, in terms of growing the Twitter and the Facebook and how to grow a YouTube channel, how to read feedback, engage with your, with your fans, your audience, um, and at the same time, to be able to be involved in all of this and understand video games. It just made sense. After some time as community manager, Beam was promoted to level designer for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where he participated in the development of seven of the maps in the game. I designed half the maps for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, so multiplayer, uh, and also helped create a lot of the high-level pillars for uh, the studio. During his time at Sledgehammer, Guy created a Justin TV account and tried streaming a few times as the doc. Now, as you might imagine, when you've built a personality as more or less a second version of yourself, like Guy Beam did with Dr. Disrespect, it's kind of a challenge to keep that guy locked away. So in 2015, Guy Beam quit his job at Sledgehammer and unleashed Dr. Disrespect. Hello! It began with some YouTube warnings about his return. I'm Dr. Disrespect. And as you know, we've been away from the YouTube community for quite a while now, but I'm here to tell you I'm back, and I ain't messing around. And then on March 21st, 2016, the man we've come to know as the face of Twitch began streaming full time. The doctor's been preparing himself for his re-entrance into the online gaming community. Maybe more than any other streamer, Doc's popularity skyrocketed with the development of the Battle Royale format. Doc was given early access to H1Z1, the zombie-themed battle royale that was the first of the genre to make headway. And it's here where Doc's love for battle royales began. They were challenging, had enough downtime to support streaming, and he could make his signature bad-mouthing a big part of his playstyle. Sorry, Timmy, little punk bitch. Get out of my face. I'm a six-foot-eight powerhouse. You ain't nothing. Because I like to remind these little chubby cheek wannabe, unathletic, pigeon toed sprinting gamers right. what the two time's all about. Ah, oh, God, you killed me. Finally, I'm going to you for cheating. Ha, ha. I'm glad you didn't kill me. Ha, ha. go blow your nose. While streaming H1Z1, Doc was averaging around 5 to 10,000 viewers at a time and his stream was growing rapidly. But if H1Z1 was the surprising opener of Dr. Disrespect's jumping into streaming celebration, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds was the main attraction. It's hard to understate the impact that PUBG had on the streaming landscape. 
battle royales and specifically PUBG rewarded streamers with flashy highlights and clippable moments for maximum social media content. And to that extent, PUBG and Dr. Disrespect couldn't be a better match. Oh, baby! Oh! I'll get it That's what I'm talking about! Huh? Huh? Are you kidding me? Huh? Whoa, baby! Are you kidding me? Huh? Are you joking with my mind? I really am the best in this game! During the summer of 2017, Doc's average viewership reached as high as 30,000. He had acquired his nickname as the face of Twitch and received industry awards for both Streamer of the Year and Gamer of the Year. The internet, Twitch, gaming, and Dr. Disrespect were now synonymous. Let's climb the mountain, let's dominate. Violence, speed, and momentum, and guess what? We're at the tippity top of the mountain. But we're really, but we're really only halfway up. Let's do it, baby! Thank you, thank you. He donned a thick mustache and dollar store sunglasses, and people loved it. What are you thinking? Like, don't you know you're going against the best sniper in the game? Huh? Okay, Doc, I'll give you $100 if you hit this shot. Headshot, has to be a headshot. Hey, that's far, okay, let me get... Yeah, he's in the tower, right? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Let's go, baby! But then one day, Guy Beam broke character. As you guys know, I have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid. And um, I want to be transparent that I've been unfaithful. His admission was, of course, devoid of the pompous charisma of the doctor and featured bashfulness far removed from the usual attitude that people have come to expect from the Twitch channel. And I'm probably going to be taking some time away, ta time off. So after his short, frank admission of guilt, Dr. Disrespect left Twitch. <clears throat> That's it. Dr. Disrespect has spent a lot of time as Twitch's darling, but even at the height of his success, he's been the target of heavy scrutiny. In the same way that he acts as a mirror image of the archetypical gamer, he's also a symbol of some of gaming's most criticized characteristics. His on-stream personality is hyper-masculine in nature. He's been criticized for being racially insensitive on multiple occasions, and called offensive on countless others. It's often hard to get a read on the dock, but despite his persona's brash nature, he's not devoid of flashes of empathy, kindness, and the familial community building we see from many top streamers. I've realized that I've, I've provided an outlet for a lot of people that are dealing with a lot of hardships, and it makes me proud. As 2018 began, more than a month had passed since the Doctor's last stream, and Twitch's hero was nowhere to be found. Late January brought signs of Doc's return, and rumblings around social media and a small YouTube teaser marked his return for early February. Ladies and gentlemen, Doc is coming back. And then, on February 5th, 2018, Dr. Disrespect returned. I haven't played in a long time. I'm literally, I literally just, just woke up out of the waterbed, pressed the start streaming button, and here we are. And he broke Twitch right in half, setting a new mark for concurrent viewership on an individual's Twitch channel at 388,000 viewers. You're looking at the face of Twitch? And ladies and gentlemen, the arena is wide open! 
Doctors are making sure he didn't miss a step, doesn't miss a groove. People want the 360 to finish off the game. People want the 360 to finish off the game. What's doctor gonna do? This guy's got a sniper. <laughs> Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, first game of the day, first game of the year. And what do we do, ladies and gentlemen? 12 kills, a winner, winner, chicken dinner, my God. During that hallowed February, the dock was at full capacity. Guy Beam was a thing of the past. He had gimmicks, he had flash, and it was all on level 100. He averaged a career high of more than 50,000 viewers at a time. Since then, he stayed steady around 20 to 25,000. Dr. Disrespect has become an integral part of the modern day Twitch ecosystem. He's joined the likes of Shroud and Chad, who've stayed loyal to PUBG, while the mainstream has shifted gears to Fortnite. I don't necessarily play it all the time, I just haven't gotten into it enough yet, but, um, you know, I'd hate to, f to play a guy who's as, as good as me, or as sure. equal as me, yeah. and he has the same weapon as me, but guess what, he has the gold weapon. He's a moniker for the old guard of the video game world, and his loyalty and consistency has produced a massive following. You know, I get excited when the doc looks like he's ready to actually murder somebody. <laughs> Good job, Good target, his fame, impressive aim, ups and downs aside, one thing that's underappreciated about Dr. Disrespect is his ability to juggle two personalities day in and day out. To his own admission, Guy Beam and Dr. Disrespect don't share many personality traits. Guy is very literally morphing into the doctor when he goes live on Twitch every day. Do you have a difficulty transitioning between yourself and the doc because you're in character for so long and for so intense amount of time? Is, do you have trouble being like, okay, now I'm just a guy, literally guy? No, no, we shut it down. We approach it as a business. When we tune into his stream every day, we are witnessing an impressively long piece of performance art. That webcam flicks on, and it's you and the screen, and you better be entertaining. Are you kidding me, Alex? On an intro, with 300 million people in the arena. Good at your game of choice. Okay. Boom! And handle it all while calm and collected. Boom, baby! <laughs> I love being the best! At first glance, Dr. Disrespect looks wild. Just an aberration within the normal, tame world of Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, trickle in! Roll! Hello! <laughs> That's how I laugh. These little stupid chubby cheek, unathletic, chubby gut, flappy gum, idiot punk kids. That's where I'm from! Nobody gets a bad way in this game! I'm the best in the game! Whoa! Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Commit to the Champions Club and transform your life forever.